is a guy that's a five-time Pro Bowl, four-time first-team All-Pro, the NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 1984. Yeah, yeah. A member of the NFL 1980s All-Decade Team. Yeah. The Seattle Ring of Honor. And not another Seahawk will wear the number 45. Please give it up for Hall of Famer. And 
Bill Walsh and his defensive staff is sitting about on the 100th row, in the 100th level, in the 100th section. And so I walk up towards them, and Bill Walsh says, there he goes. I can smell you coming. <laughs> I guess I had put the root on a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> He said, look here. He said, uh, we were very impressed with your workout. He said, in fact, you're faster than we thought you were. They thought I was a 4.7 guy in the 40-yard dash. I ran 4.53. Uh, he says, we have the eighth overall pick tomorrow morning in the NFL draft. If we select you with that pick, will you be okay with that? I said, I would. Absolutely, I would. I knew San Francisco was going to have a defensive draft because they had the offense. They already had Joe Montana and Roger Craig and you know, good offensive players. They just needed a defense. And so, the 49ers draft, their first eight picks in the draft were all defensive players. Headed by Ronnie Lott, the number one pick. But Ronnie only got to get that number one pick because Pete Rosell stepped up to the microphone that following morning at about 8.30 and said, with the fourth overall pick, the Seattle Seahawks select from UCLA defensive back Kenny Eagle. Seattle from Los Angeles. 
right before we were about, I mean, we, we actually we had landed and we were taxiing to the gate. And the captain of the airplane came over the intercom on the airplane and said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we must have some type of celebrity on this flight. He said, because inside of the airport, at the gate that we're going to, we're taxiing to, it is full of people. Well, you know, I, I certainly wasn't thinking that this was for me. <laughs> so he pulls into the gate, he parked the airplane. We all started to load off the, off the airplane. And as soon as I got to the entrance of the door, all of these fans started yelling. Yeah! Fans, fans just like you start to yell it. And I, 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 and so I turned to my my lawyer, my agent, and said. This is for me. <laughs> and so, as we're driving in our car to Kirkland, see, back in those days, we were in Kirkland. And these people that were at the airport, they were following us to Kirkland. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we do the press conference. Later that night, there was a fellow who worked for Cairo or King Five. I'm not sure. I think he worked Cairo. Named Wayne Cody. <laughs> so you got to be old enough to know Wayne. <laughs> and he had a, a draft show at a Mexican restaurant in Bellevue. I go by there now, that, that Mexican restaurant is no longer there. But after we had done the press conference at, in Kirkland, my lawyer and I went to the restaurant to do Wayne Cody show. And when I got to the restaurant, the place was almost shut down because there were too many people there. All of these Seahawks fans were there to invite me to Seattle. Yeah. So after we talked to Wayne and all of these people came up and wishing me well and and, uh, and, and, and just being so kind to me. I told my lawyers, Lee Steinberg, I said, forget about it. He said, what? I said, the trade. I said, if these people who have shown me this type of love want me in a Seattle uniform, let's go. Yeah! So I say that to say this. It was because of the type of people like you that support the Seattle Seahawks. In my, in my Hall of Fame speech, I said the greatest football fans in the history of the NFL. Yeah! In the history of the NFL. They call themselves the 12. That's you. And you are the reason. You are 
about the reason that Ken Easley decided to play in Seattle. Somehow, some way. 